We're less than a week away from the start of the Optical Fiber Conference in San Francisco, and Poet Technologies has just announced a couple of showstoppers that it plans to unveil, including the first of its kind, Poet Blazar, a cost-effective light source that will be viewed behind closed doors and by exclusive invitation only for select delegates. All conference attendees will be able to observe the company's other major demonstration, Poet Terralite, a line of transmit and receive optical engines that can operate at 1.6 terabits per second and which use Mitsubishi Electric's top-of-the-line externally modulated lasers. Here to discuss the momentous news and what else to expect in the days ahead is Poet's Chief Revenue Officer, Raju Kankapati. Raju, these are exciting times for you and and your colleagues too, right? Thanks, Adrian. Yes, uh, definitely exciting times. We've been working extremely hard uh, to put our best foot forward for the industry. And we think like last year, we'll be one of the companies many people end up talking about. So we have a few uh, major live demonstrations coming up at OFC. The Poet Terralite, our 1.6T optical engine, achieves industry-leading performance at the highest speeds available in the market. There'll be several 1.6T demos at OFC everywhere, However, there are a few things that differentiates our solution. The first one, ours is an indium phosphide on silicon. It's based engine. We use EML lasers and passively assemble them on our optical interposer. This means our customers can expect excellent performance. Our wafer scale assembly process replicates a semiconductor type of manufacturing where we flip chip attach all the components. EMLs, drivers, MPDs, thermistors, all at wafer scale. This results in a high volume, low cost production. The second differentiation, which is a big deal. We use one of the unique EMLs out there, Mitsubishi's 2x200 gig EML. It is a single small chip, which has two instances of 200 gig on it. So we use only four chips for 1.60. Yes, just four chips for 1.60. This is a huge cost saving and a compact solution. The third differentiation, our engines allow customers to release 1.60 DR8 and 2xFR4 pluggable modules using the exact same board design. This is a significant achievement for an industry adion because traditionally they've relied on separate engineering and manufacturing resources for DR and FR applications. Our second demo, as you mentioned, is the Poet Blazar. It's time for us to lift the curtains on something really amazing. It'll be a product that we believe will drive the AI connectivity to the next level. The Poet Blazar is a multi-wavelength light source that can be an excellent alternative to a traditional DFB-based solution. It effectively uses our Poet optical interposer and offers the benefits of wafer scale passive assembly. So as a result of all this, it lowers the cost of light source by an order of magnitude. It provides larger scale and better reliability. And the biggest benefit to the industry is this product can effectively increase the utilization of indium phosphide with the supply that is out there. So just to give you an idea on how big deal this might be, NVIDIA announced a Quantum X CPU switch a few days ago. They use 18 external light source modules on a single switch. That's 144 lasers. Imagine 10 million of these switches shipping in a year. That's 1.4 billion lasers. It'll be extremely difficult to support that kind of volume with the current DFB lasers. So our live demo of the Poet Blazar has the potential to be a game changer for the external light source applications. So we'll be explaining more about this product and how we get to these cost advantages with the specially invited guests to learn about it at OFC. Well, uh, Raju, that's uh, quite the update, a uh, lot going on, uh, but uh, what else can attendees who may or may not be uh, those select VIPs expect to find out from Poet this year? So a significant moment for Poet will be having the public to see our optical engines working inside our partner products. So one of our key module customers at Tran will be demonstrating a live performance of the highly integrated Quattro 100GB LR4 using the Poet's optical engines at their private demo room. 
So Quattro LR4 integrates four instances of 100 gig LR4 in a single QSFP DD form factor. It's essentially quadrupling the density of high 100 gig ports in a 400 gig switch and routing platforms. So we will have live demos set up at our booth that will show customers modules that are being marketed to AI manufacturers and data center hyperscale customers. Inside these modules are our engines. So this is a tangible example of how far we have come as an organization during the past year to have working products integrated into our customers' pluggable transceivers that are ready for volume manufacturing. That's right. And, and speaking of customers, the other notable news that Poet announced recently was the shipping of advanced optical engine samples to three global technology leaders. What can you tell us about that development? Yes. So our partners like what they see with our products and they want to show their customers more designs that include our engines. It's a very good place for us to be. Having some of the biggest names in our industry put their trust in us speaks volumes about the Poet Optical Interposer and the technology our team has created in collaboration with these partners. So next step for those particular products are an industry standard qualification period that may last about six months. We expect the production orders in the second half of this year for most of these recently shipped optical engine samples. Uh, wonderful, that's an amazing update, Raju, and plenty to look forward to. If you're attending OFC, POET will be at booth 5315 at the Moscone Center. Raju and I will both be part of the POET contingent. Be sure to drop by if you're on the floor. Raju, thanks for the time today and see you in a few days. Thank you, I'm excited. Next week uh, will be a great week.